Hi, this is Andy Gilman in Washington. When it comes to crisis communications, the best crisis is the one that never happens. The crisis that we know about, and this year has produced a bumper crop, Tiger, BP, Toyota, they all get our attention and get our juices flowing. Our adrenaline revs up on the first phone call, text, or email. We start thinking about rapid response, deploying teams, writing FAQs, turning on long dormant dark sites, supercharged internal meetings, and encounters with a skeptical and perhaps hostile press. If we're lucky, the crisis ebbs quickly. However, some crisis experts, like reporters and lawyers, will admit that there's nothing quite like a long-riding crisis that makes the job more interesting. We'll come back in another report to look at specific crises this year. My point today is that this year's spate of bad news should encourage us to spend more time and energy on crisis audits, prevention, and simulations that identify trouble spots and potential adverse events. A crisis and its response is very visible. I'd rather get recognition for the invisible, a crisis that never happens. This is Andy Gilman.